Hi. It is, and it's your birthday today. But that's not why we're here. We're here because I got a present in the mail all the way from France. I got my pre-ordered copy of To the Last Man's uh, Nuts is To the Last Man. And you have to say, Nuts! To the Last Man! Because it's double exclamation point. It's Extra Excitement, designed by Tim Taylor, a friend of mine. Um, so I'm going to start by taking off the shrink. Here's the, this. It came from France, but it was free shipping all the way from France. This box has seen a lot. You can tell it's traveled across the Atlantic. I'll pass this down. You can't see what? The Phil. I can't see Phil. You can't see Phil? Yeah. Phil? Um, well, Phil is in Lawrence, I think. He's Let's undo the, the plastic here as we prepare to debox, as it were, to the last man. Here we go. We're going to open it and make it move this forward and point it downwards so you can share with me the pleasure of deboxing nuts to the last man. The Great War in the West. And this was a print and play game. I don't know if it's still available for print and play, but I prefer, I like the idea of print and play, but I'm horribly um, I'm crafty. I like to make things, but I have a hard time making things in a prescribed manner. So here we have this beautiful mouth. I played one nuts game before, um, and I really enjoyed it. It, was, it had some humor to it, uh, but still was like trying to be something, and that was nice. Look at that. I like this. It's very tasteful, isn't it? Um, and it has a, a nice kind of period feel. Um, this I wonder if Tim cup. wasn't responsible for that. He's a, as well as being a game designer and a game master, he's a, a good graphic designer. He's got some graphic design skills, so I wouldn't be surprised. Um, there's this little silica thing. I think it got punctured because there's little beads everywhere. But um, that's good because I've always wondered what was inside these um, things. You're not supposed to eat these. Okay, he says throw them away, don't eat that. All right, Ren? Okay, we have four dice. They have a different sort of, they kind of have a rubbery feel if you're interested in that. Um, I could, should I take this? Sometimes it takes me a while and I have performance anxiety about opening these on camera. I'm talking to whoever is watching this in the future. It's kind of like leaving a message on an answering machine. Or you know Catherine? Have you seen, you remember Catherine? Yeah. Um, Catherine is done in the past, and then we watch it in the present when we watch it. And so when Catherine talks, she's kind of talking to us, even though she doesn't know who we are. Water. Water is, um, I think, in your trailer. Go, go out and get it from your trailer. I mean, water is a Well, I'm in the middle of something very important right now. I'm oh, opening I the, the cards. De Deplasticing the cards to, to the last man. All right, so here they are, and again we're seeing some, some, water, some nice graphic design. Lots of like yeah. it's uh it's got headlines, which is fun. I like this. This is going to make the game a lot more pleasurable for me to have this kind of um this kind of newspaper feel to the cards. It's like I'm holding little um, sturdier newspapers that have held up over time because they're so much sturdier than newspapers of the day. Talking to? I'm talking to the, the viewer of the future. Um, Here, I'm just dumping out some silica. Okay, so now we'll take out these things. Um, to the last man! Nuts! And this is the theater rule book. Theatra. And it's color all the way through. Um, but not garish color. It's very tasteful. Tasteful yet with some playful humor. That's kind of what you get from nuts that I've seen so far. And here's the core rule book. So we got a core and a theater. Theatra. Theatra. Looks like biplanes, forts, card manifest. I've heard good things about this game. I haven't read too much on it. Um, so you have a like a special player aid that I oh, there's a player aid, special player aid that I have on PDF, but it's hard for me to read off the computer. All right, player aid, double sided, and there's two. That's always sensitive when they give you two, and these are very sturdy. And this I don't think this was that expensive 
for me. I think this was I, I can look at maybe a forty dollar pre order. I can't I remember. Can, it was a while ago. You can. Well, I don't want you to uh, go wash your hands and then you can. Here's some things that you can punch out and treasure after you do so. Uh, these are gray and these are kind of a reddish. No, you got to use water and soap. Got to use water and soap. Uh, and then here are some more of those. Look, On Tom's advantage, I can't wait to get that. You gotta, you gotta use water and soap though, because there's oily residue from all the pizza you had. German advantage, Entente advantage. All right, um, triangles, and this is something I remember from seeing pictures. Uh, this game uses triangles, it's something I've not seen in a war game before. Triangles. Um, so that'll be fun. And then we have some smaller, maybe kind of control type counters here. And that is everything that's included in the box to the last man. I'm going to probably try and get this to the table soon um, and then review it. So it'll be a full, full treatment of to the last man by me uh, coming soon. This is part of it. This is the unboxing because it's just so exciting. That for, you know, and plus, you know, it's it kind of sucks when it's someone else's birthday because you want it to be your birthday. You want to have all the fun. Um, I'm kidding, but <laughs> it's still fun to come home from um, our trip to the museum and the stream to find to the last man nuts waiting inside. There was water in there. There was. Oh, yeah. you'll have to wash them downstairs in the bathroom downstairs. All right. Goodbye.